Hi everyone, Rainy with My Dream Boat Project and today I am working on building a bow roof shed that I got from, I got the plans from Stimson Marine. This is not a paid broadcast, I paid for this myself and they don't even know I'm doing it. I'm just pretty excited about it. I decided to start getting ready to winterize uh, my boat because it's going to be getting cold here really soon, too cold to be uh, putting resin and you know for everything to cure so I'm getting ready to cover it so I'm going to build a bow shed and matter of fact they're right over here in Maine I believe up by Bar Harbor in that area so anyways here is my second one that I'm working on my first one I'm going to twirl you around here was actually you can see right here was actually a 14 footer but I decided that one's not going to be big enough so uh, well, two reasons. Number one, I don't think it's going to be big enough. And number two, both Home Depot and Lowe's have 16 foot 1x3s. So I didn't want to cut two feet off of them. I'm paying for it. So I'm going to make it 16 feet. Stimson's Marine shows you how to make it basically every, everywhere from I think like, what was it, 12 foot, 10 foot. You can make it 10 foot uh, wide all the way up to 20 foot wide and uh, also tall. And you can make it as long as you want. Haha, <laughs> so I'm going to make one that's 16 wide by 16 tall and probably about 24 feet long. And I'm going to make extra frames and in the spring I'm going to expand it so I can actually work under it. But I want to cover it for winter and I hate to say it, I'm going to have to cut the front third of my boat off or cut it down for winter. Uh, they need to be able to plow and there's so little lawn and so much boat there's no place to put the snow. So that's why I'm getting everything ready so I can cut it down and cover it. So let me show you a little bit about how this works and what I had to do. First of all these were the plans that came in. Uh, came in this nice little envelope. It actually got here in two days. Again I am in Maine. <laughs> Comes with a book that explains everything and I mean everything and plans so you can build it any size you want. So I was pretty excited about that. So the big plans make it a lot easier. I've been using them. So here is the first one I made and I'm not going to get too much into the details because it's a copywritten plan and I don't want to give it away here. But I'm going to give you an idea of how it goes together. First of all you got to make your jig and you can see I have my jigs all numbered one, two, three, four, five, actually one, two is over there three, four, five, six, and seven is down there. So what you're doing is you're taking the one by threes and you can see I've got all my one by threes lined up right there. And you put them on this jig and you bend them. And you bend them and you bend them and right around there is where it starts cracking if you have wood that's not good. As you can see this wood here, it's just strapping, but there are no knots in the middle. You want to make sure there's no knots because those are the ones that'll crack. Spent two hours at Lowe's yesterday, but I got a bunch of them. Now, what I do is in the middle, every two feet or so, I get one of these one by three blocks and I put that in the middle and I screw them in on both sides. So, when they're done, I should be able to lift this guy right out of the mold. Let's see, I'm going to give it a shot. Oops. I probably should do it with the camera down. So once it's complete, you just need to pull it, slide it right out of the jig. There we go. And I actually made it too tight over here, that's all. I'm going to go ahead and loosen it up for the next one. But you can see, I have the entire bow done right here, and it is a 16 foot bow. Now just to show you how it works, I'm going to put this over here, okay. To start out, this is the fun part. A 
you get a one by three piece. I'm gonna move my chair over. You should get everything out of the way. I'm just showing you, and if we don't have a problem, it'll be fine. But these here, last time went flying right across the room. So, this end goes between here, and you get it wedged in as good as you can. Okay? That gets in there, and then... around number two. If you want to go slow, this is kind of like jack-in-the-box. You ever had one of those ding -da ding -da? You don't know when it's going to come flying? <laughs> if it cracks, it'll scare the daylights out of you. There we go. And that's how you get the first one done. Then, I simply take my blocks let me get my blocks. It's hard to get through. I had to extend this table. It was 11 feet. You can see the midsection. I had to extend it to 14 feet to make these. So, let's see. Then I would take these and I would strategically put these over here so I know where they're going to be. And I actually make arrow marks so I know where each one of them is. take another one by three, put it in there, and bend that one. And once that one's bent on, you put two screws on both sides, two screws on both sides, all the way over, and you're done. So the thing that takes the longest is actually to make the jig. All those pieces of wood because you got to measure. It's pretty easy though, you get a straight line and from the middle you measure how far, like this one here is about probably two and a half feet bend so it's about a 40, 40 degree bend and uh, depending on the height of the bow you know the height of the uh, uh, the shelter okay so you want to have enough of a arch so the width is the same as the height of course once I get all these things up there's going to be you know the cross pieces and there's going to be a beam down the middle so I'll show you that in a later video because it's probably going to take me a few weeks to get to that point <laughs> so with that I haven't really done too much more on the boat. I uh, was waiting for wood. Remember we are talking about kind of wood to get? And you can see underneath the 1 by 3 strapping, I went out and I got uh, 8, uh, 8 3 quarter inch, and I decided to get marine fur, okay? They were expensive enough, marine fur. The uh, Maranti, which I usually get, was like, you know, $260 a sheet. It was ridiculous. Uh, this one is about... Uh, right or a little bit a little bit more than half that but still more, a lot more affordable so with that I'd like to thank you for watching and by the way I want to thank you for subscribing because right now last I checked we had I believe 1200 subscribers so that is pretty exciting I love having you watch I've been getting a lot of calls from you folks and emails Matter of fact, <laughs> one of my subscribers I never met, I was out here working in the garage on the boat, uh, he actually drove by and stopped. He goes, hey, I looked you up, I thought I'd come over and see you. Came over with his son, spent a few minutes, showed him the boat, and luckily you know, luckily for him he didn't have enough, enough time because I would have had him lifting some heavy stuff with me. But it was wonderful to meet him, and I had a few others of you that said, hey, we don't live too far from you, if you need help, we'll come over and help. And that's wonderful. I really appreciate your assistance, your advice, your support. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.